new to MixCraft 5 is a video track. This allows us to do some simple edits to our videos and then add audio, create soundtracks, add voiceovers and sound effects, and even clean up the existing audio that may be on your videos that you load. So let's take a look. Here we have a new session. What we are going to do in this tutorial is to take two videos, add some sound effects, background music, and a voiceover, and output the final movie. The first thing we want to do is load our video. There's a number of ways we can do this in MixCraft. One way is to go up to the audio track, right click, go to insert track, and down to video track. You can also go up to this track button here, click on it, go down to insert video track. You can also go up to the menu bar here and click track, add track, and video track. The way I like to do it is just go straight to video, click add video file. Now navigate to the video that you want, click open. MixCraft has automatically created a video track for you. We can preview this by going Show Window and pushing Play. This window is a little bit too big for us. Reduce it a little bit. Now I want to add another video here. So we'll go back up to the menu bar, go to video, add video file, and I'm going to pick Yellowstone. And again, I can preview this track by clicking play. For the moment, I'm going to hide this video window by clicking the hide video window. I'm going to stretch out my videos a little bit here along the timeline. The next thing I want to do is add some audio tracks. I'm going to rewind to the top, click the first audio track, and then I can go down here to the category bar, use the drop down menu to search the numerous sounds that MixCraft comes with. Now I've already gone through a lot of these sounds and picked out the ones that I want. I'm going to go to name and search alphabetically. The first one I'm searching for is a waterfall. I can preview it by clicking the little play button to the left of the sound name. If that's the one I want, I can either drag the file up to my audio track or simply click this plus button. You can see it's already added to the timeline. I can preview the video with the sound by clicking show video window and going down to the play bar. Now I want to add the rest of my song files. The next one I want to add is one called stream waterfall distance. Here's Stream Waterfall Distance. Now I want to click on Audio Track 3, go back to the beginning, and this one we're just going to drag up here. Now I want to add another track. I go to Track 4, select that, and go to my next file, which is Birds. I've added Birds. Now I want to go and add a song called Attention. Click on track 5. This one, I'll show you where I found it. I went to Song Kit, went down to Music Beds, and I'm going to preview this one. That's the one I want. Drag it up. So the last thing we want to do is add a voiceover track. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the window temporarily. I'm going to go to my track 2, right click, go to insert track, 
audio track. You will notice that Mixcraft added another audio track above the track that you right clicked on. Next thing we want to do is go over to track 2 and right next to the arm button, just to the right of it, you'll see a downward facing arrow. Let's click on this and here you will see all the available interfaces. Now I've already plugged in my Presonus audio box into my USB port and I've plugged in a microphone into the audio box. So I will go down here and select it. You can choose either right or left channel, doesn't matter at this point. You notice that track 2 went red and it automatically armed. We can unarm it or click arm again. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to take my microphone and I'm going to get a level on it. Test, one, two, test, one, two. I can probably have a little bit more gain, but I'm going to adjust it on my audio box here. Test, one, two, test, one, two. I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to go to show video window because I want to see what I'm voicing over. I'm going to move this away just a wee bit. When I'm ready to record, I'll go over here and click the record button. So I almost forgot. If you don't want to hear all your other tracks, best mute them before you do this next step. Okay, now I'm ready to record. I'm going to rewind to the start, push record. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. Now just to make sure that I don't re-record over that, I'm going to unarm it, rewind, and push play. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. I'm pretty happy with that. So in the next movie, we're going to put it all together.